These are the children of an Australian woman held in the Al Hol camp in northern Syria. They're among 70,000 people preparing for the coronavirus pandemic in the crowded, neglected and dangerous refugee camp, mainly for families from the Islamic State group's so-called caliphate. There's, there's lack of supplies, lack of food, lack of water, no rubbish collection, no medical support. The first known coronavirus death in northeast Syria was in early April. But because of the civil war, the region's Kurdish-led administration was not told for two weeks that COVID-19 was responsible. It shows how isolated the Kurds are, despite holding thousands of refugees and Islamic State prisoners. Australian women in the refugee camp say conditions are deteriorating. It's kind of hard already enough to keep hygienic things for our children. So I would be scared that it will get worse here. We've been here for so long now and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Aid groups have scaled back their services, including medical care. Many of the detainees came into our hole with war injuries and chronic disease, which have not been properly treated. We're very concerned that a sort of a weak and vulnerable population in the camp could really be significantly impacted. The Australian government removed some orphans from northeastern Syria last year, but there's been no progress on the other cases. That's not necessarily because of the pandemic. Other governments, such as Finland, are still trying to extract their citizens, despite worldwide restrictions on movement. The Australian government has previously said it fears some Australians in the camps still hold extremist beliefs and could commit terrorist attacks if repatriated. It did not respond to questions from the ABC. Eric Torchek, ABC News, Jerusalem.